Welcome to Mentoring Mondays. It's good to be with you again at the start of another working week. And we've been looking at some really well-known Bible verses. So today we're going to look at Luke 6, where it says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Will men give into your lap? And according to the measure that you give, it'll be given unto you. Great verse. So many of us know it. But I want to talk about the context because this has been a little bit hijacked as if now this verse only applies to offering time when we have to give so that it'll be given to us. And actually, I have to smile sometimes because the way that we hear it linked in, it actually sounds to me like the very opposite of giving. It sounds like we're giving on elastic, you know, we just, we, we give, but hey, before we've even left it out of our hands, it's coming back to us in bigger and greater measure than we can possibly imagine. And I struggle with that. I, I don't know why people preach it like that, because that doesn't sound like giving, that sounds like lending. It sounds like, well, I'm just giving you this now, but actually, just whilst I'm mentioning it, I'm expecting you to give a whole lot back more to me. Uh, but really, giving actually means giving. It means when you've given it, you're not actually looking for a return on it because you've given it. And if you are giving with that sense of looking for return, you often become disappointed. I like to couple that verse that we've looked at in Luke 6 with what Jesus said about if a seed of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it does not abide alone. And it's that real giving, isn't it? When the seed goes into the ground and dies, and then it starts producing fruit. So this sort of instant expectation that give and it's gonna come back to me is something that I wanted to just say, hey, I don't quite go with that. But what also I want to say is this, that the context of this verse isn't actually about money at all. It's about not condemning, not judging, and actually forgiving. So the kind of giving that we're meant to be doing is not just financial giving, it's, it's giving a right attitude across to people. When we're tempted to condemn them, we think, not going to give that. If I give that, that's what I'm going to get back sooner or later, <laughs> more condemnation. Jesus said, judge not that you be not judged. And so I'm not going to judge that person. I'm not going to condemn that person because that's what I'll get back. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to forgive that person. And then guess what? As you forgive, forgiveness comes back to you. As you show grace, it's grace that comes back to you. And it comes back in measure that you just don't expect. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together. And it says that men will give that into your lap. This is not just, we can say, God's goodness coming back to us. It's actually people expressing God's goodness towards us. People start coming back in that kind of disposition. So when we're praying the Lord's Prayer, for example, and we say, forgive us that we might be forgiven, it's actually in line with this very verse, that what we're looking at here is a spirit of generosity. I don't want to give out negative vibes. I don't want to give out negative judgments. I don't want to be condemning people. I want to be living my life in a generosity of spirit that gives people the benefit of the doubt, that shows them love, that gives forgiveness. And somehow, by God's grace, even though I'm not looking for that in return, because I've given it, I know that because God is faithful, that somehow that will start coming back. And it's that sense of having really given that enables us to be surprised at God's goodness. I don't want to be in that position where I'm taking God's goodness for granted because I've said, well, look, there you are, I gave, so it's all come back hundredfold. That sounds arrogant to me. I always want to be surprised by the goodness of God. I always want to be amazed that people are forgiving and gracious towards me because I don't feel I deserve it and I don't feel as if I expect it. And I'm not even going to do the equation that says they're doing it because I did it to them. I just want to live in that sense of my life needs to be an outward expression of God's grace and God's goodness. And then it's up to the Lord in his goodness as to how he multiplies that back to me. So do take that as you're living your life this week. Live it in that generosity of spirit where you're not condemning, you're not judging, but you're allowing that free forgiveness to flow from your heart, giving people the benefit of the doubt, and you'll be amazed at what God brings back to you. So that's what I want you to do this week, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you've been watching on Facebook, hit the like button. If you've been watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.